Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tech with Solutions and the video is finally here. How is it that I have my Weeble desktop version laid out? One of the first things that you should know is that Weeble offers two specific applications when it comes down to, you can download the app on your computer, but it's just the mobile version. On top of that, they actually have the desktop app, so make sure that you understand that you are downloading the Weeble desktop app, and I have the iOS, which I'm using on my Mac mini. So let's go ahead and jump right to it. If you like the Weeble platform and you want to make this switch, they have an amazing and very seamless way on how you can go from your current trading platform and seamlessly switch on over to Weeble. So make sure that you take note of that. You can use the first link down below, which is an affiliate link. You do not have to use it, but it will earn you two free stocks when you fund your trading account $100. So make sure you take that into consideration. And if you like what it is you saw today, make sure you drop a thumbs up. And I'm also going to be making a walkthrough, not just on the setup, which is for today, but on how to actually use the platform when it comes down to scanning for stocks, when it comes down to hotkeys, when it comes down to buying and selling. This is going to be a very useful video. So make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications. So let's get right to it. You guys can see that I have mine laid out in a very unique way, very similar to my previous trading platform. And it's all about preference. At the end of the day, you don't have to have yours laid out. This is just a walkthrough step by step on how you can get yours looking one step closer to mine. You guys can see that I have a couple different indicators. I have my level two down here. I have the ability to be able to buy and sell. I have my uh, you know, AMC uh, position. So let's go ahead and show you how I have this set up specifically. One of the first things that I wanna cover is on this right hand side. You guys can see that this originally comes overlapped on one another. So these things are called widgets. And then within the widgets, there are tabs. And within these tabs, you guys can actually drag and drop tabs. You can make them individual tabs if you wanna make them individual ones or overlap these tabs inside the widgets themselves. So I have mine overlapped, so I can go back from active trade, I can go back from trade. And this originally comes with orders and positions. And again, the order book level two originally comes on this side. So I actually wanna show you. This originally comes on this side. It kinda comes like overlapped like this, so you guys could see this. And then originally, it has the charts on. It's all about preference. I don't like looking at the charts. I don't find it useful. If you do, feel free to keep it. Um, and you can keep it on the right-hand side. I kind of feel like it looks like the order flow or the time and sales. So because of that, what I decided to do is within this widget, I didn't drag and drop that entire widget. I just wanted the order book level two. Level two does not automatically come with all Weeble accounts, so you do have to subscribe to that, and it should be free depending on your trading account. So once you subscribe to level two, you guys can drag and drop, and I want mine to come all the way down here, and once I let it go, and sorry, I didn't let it go appropriately, but you guys can see that it pops up right here. I have the charts, and then I have the actual level two. I don't want the chart, so I'm gonna click on this and click on turning it off, and then I'm gonna drag and drop, and I really just wanna be able to see the first three or four orders of level two. If you don't understand what level two is, this is the bid where people are asking to buy, and this is the ask where people are asking to sell. So just take that into consideration. The next step, this is pretty simple. It already has it pretty uh, similar to the trade, to the active trade. Um, I really focus on the uh, uh, the trade part where it comes down to buy, sell, or short. Um, when it comes down to the different order types, they have it nicely laid out for you. Uh, the overall quantity of shares that you wanna buy, the limit price, if I wanna buy with market, that thing goes away. And when I wanna buy with a limit order, then it does allow me to select a very specific price for whatever stock it is that I'm trading. In this example, uh, it is DKNG. So uh, this also allows you to trade during extended hours. If you are unaware of what extended hours is, Extended hours is during normal market hours in Arizona as of right now is from 6.30 in the morning all the way up to 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. But extended hours means that after the market closes, as of right now, market is currently closed, I can still trade. All I have to do is select yes and my order will execute. If I wanna buy, if I wanna sell, if I wanna short sell, that is all still made available on the Weeble platform. I can trade two and a half hours before the market opens and four hours after the market closes. So make sure you take that into consideration and all you have to do is select yes when it comes down to extended hours. I'm gonna drag and drop this just a little bit so I can go ahead and see my position on DKNG. One of the first things that you'll notice is that your position might not be laid out 
just like mine is. And if you wanna customize your positions tab on your Weevil platform, all you do is instead of going on over here and selecting like filter and all of this, uh, you can just go on over here on this little left hand side of the positions column and you can highlight and select the items that you want selected and remove and uncheck the ones that you don't. Also, if you want them in different orders where if you want the last price to be first and the symbol to be second, then you just drag and drop according from top to bottom and that will reflect on your positions tab so once you have that all done then you click that one of the things that I wanted to make sure that I do on my Weeble platform is very similar to my previous platform as I'm navigating through different stocks I only want the PNL or the positions tab to show me whatever stock it is that I'm looking into it suits me or does me no good to have my Tesla position and my AMC position showing when I'm day trading DKNG. It's just irrelevant information at the time, right? Uh, at least from my preference. So what I do is you go on over here and you go on filter and instead of having it on all, I click DKNG only. And by clicking that, it will only reflect my DKNG position so as I navigate to my AMC position, it will only reflect that. As I go to my Tesla position, it will only reflect that. And again, that is all done on the position tab. When it comes down to orders, this is on your working orders. If I put a limit order to buy something and it hasn't been filled, this will reflect here. And when it comes down to filled, canceled, pending, partially filled, or failed, that will all reflect under the orders tab. Uh, let's go ahead and move on over to watch list. Watch list, I have it pretty uh, set up uh, very basic. Uh, I have two specific actual watch lists where I have my all stocks or main watch list. Those are the two individual watch lists that I'm actually using. At the end of the day, again, the whole idea of your layout should be to be both effective and efficient, at least in my eyes. And I only wanna focus on stock that I'm actually trying to pay attention to, which is the watch list that I have here. So the really cool thing about the Weeble platform is once you search up your stock, you can just go ahead and click follow and you can add it to either your main watch list or whatever watch list it is that you wanna highlight and refer that specific stock to. You can see as soon as I searched up a stock that wasn't in my watch list, it takes me to the recently viewed. So as I continue to search for different stocks that are not in my watch list, I can quickly click on them and add them to my watch list or just leave them under the recently viewed which is pretty much just a history of the stocks that I've searched for on the Weeble platform. So I'm gonna go back to my main watch list as these are the actual stocks that I want to stay up to date with. Um, and what I now wanna talk about is we talked about level two, we talked about the watch list, we talked about my left, my right side column. I wanna talk about the indicators that I have set up. Weeble makes it very simple on the indicators, the drawing tools, so a very similar tool to my trendline tool is literally the trendline tool. You just activate drawing, you click on trendline tool, and I can drag and drop according to, you know, if I wanna buy here and I plan to sell at $25, I can calculate and see that, okay, well that is almost, you know, 15% potential that it has to offer, and do that all with the drawing tool. You can play with it and see whatever drawing tool you find to be the most useful, and that's up to you. This is the line style. My line style is candle. It might come with a different preference uh, originally or default. Uh, you can use, you know, whichever one it is that you find to be the most useful, I use the candle layout. And the grid is simply how many charts you have laid out on your screen. I can have four different, you know, stocks within my grid. It just becomes overwhelming and counterproductive at that point, right? There's a thing of like, you know, indicator paralysis. I call that chart paralysis, right? Where there's so many different charts that it's like, why am I trying to uh, pretend that I can focus on four different stocks at the same time. At least for myself, I like to keep things simple, which is why I only have one grid on my screen. And if I wanna add one to my second screen, then I can, but at least it's big enough for me to be able to focus on real information. The last thing is, again, the indicator. People love to ask, what indicators do I have? And what you know is the uh, customization in the length um, and with this one i have the ma which is the moving average i have the macd the rsi and the ema very similar to my previous layout you can go to edit and this will allow you to change the input which is super super important so if you previously had a length of 180 but you don't see a length of 180 again i can go here and you know add whatever length it is that i want if i want 100 if i want five whatever the case might be you just add that but that doesn't really matter until you activate it. So as you guys can see, I only have the MA 180, which is my moving average 180, and I have it with a green 
color because I like my MA to you know, be green. I like to keep things simple. My EMA, I only have one activated EMA 20. That's the length that I have it. I change the input here. And again, the introduction explains to you, it gives you a definition so you don't have to go on Google and search for this, which just makes it that much easier. When it comes down to my MACD and my RSI, those are default settings. So my input, you guys can see it's 12, 26, 9. When it comes down to my style, this is what I have set up. When it comes down to my RSI, I have RSI 14 setup and when it comes down to inputs again you can change that here and it gives you a definition so the really cool thing about this is, is as you're learning about these different indicators and if you want to actually use them you don't have to google search all of them webull makes it that much easier for you to be able to learn more about them and if you want to activate them then again it's just one click away so now that we have that we're going to click done there and that is how you activate and get your indicator set up just like this the last thing that i want to cover is the chart settings so i'm going to go on over here and go on chart settings and you guys can kind of just uh, compare based off of your default settings and mine so chart settings i have this under fix i have this under none i have show extended hours so what that does is if i don't want to show extended hours after the market closes, it won't show you any information. I wanna make sure I get up to date on where it's trading after market hours, which is this highlighted field right here. It just uh, shows high and lows, that's activated overlap volume. You can see the volume right here. I can uncheck it, volume goes away. I can check it, it goes there. Showing flashing lights opening, I don't care for that, so I unchecked it. Highlight indicator values, I highlighted that. Show corporate action, splits, reverse stock splits, forward splits, dividends, earnings. I wanna make sure that I stay up to date with that, which is why I have that highlighted. And then show grid online, that's for your X and Y axis. If you remove it, it removes them. So I find it to be useful to have these different lines so I can use them again a little bit more um, as a reference, which gives me, gives me more accurate you know, definitions on what price it's at. And again, uh, d depending on what time it is as well for the X and Y axis. I don't have a cost line basis. I don't care where it is that I bought at. What I do want open is the show open order. So I have an open limit order to buy or to sell. I want to make sure that I have that reflected on my screen so I can either cancel it or adjust it accordingly, which again is very nice to have. I have this under default. And then my axis, I have this under linear. I have show last price, show last indicator values. I have show price alerts, and this is under default. I don't want my alerts to extend to the left and make it very loud on my screen where, again, there's just so, so much going on. I want to make it very seamless and very fluid and very useful which is the whole point of your trading platform the last thing is the auto y access indicator you can adjust those according to right here so on the bottom right hand tab you can remove extended hours if you don't want that information or you can activate it the same thing with the auto as you transition from the one day one minute chart to the four day 180 day chart your charts might not automatically adjust according to your x and y axis so if you want to make that a little bit easier then again you just click auto and it will automatically adjust so it looks nice on your screen again making it that much easier when it comes down to the intervals the pretty much time frames i have the one day one minute chart the five day one minute chart again all these different time frames the only one that i had to add was the four hour 180 day time frame and all you have to do is literally star whatever time frame it is that you want active on this interval tab makes it very easy to go from the one day one minute uh, to the uh, 20 day one hour or the 180 day four hour time frame again allowing me to go back and forth the cool thing about this as well is again you can adjust these according to how much it is i want to see of the rsi how much it is that i want to see about the macd and make your layout to be the most effective make sure that you're aware of those left, left side column they have paper trading they have account information they have you know a customized layout where you can really really customize it i i don't personally find it the most useful but that's just me the screener so again we're going to be getting into that on the next video so make sure you subscribe to the channel on how to be able to scan for stocks and using the webull scanning um, setups that they have set up when it comes down to overall market conditions when it comes down to the stocks which is this tab and then when it comes down to the watch list so again understand that there are total of seven different columns on the left hand side from watch list stocks markets screeners customize account and paper trading you can go to chart settings i deactivated these two widgets on the top bar which will reflect right on over here i don't care how many working orders i have and i don't care how much money i have in my account so i took that information out of there as again i don't find it to be useful i also have a very basic theme setup you have three different options and then when it comes down to the colors of green is up red is down 
very simple, right? So you can exit right on over there. I have all of this set up on the right hand side. It's very easy for me to see, hey, this is DraftKings. I have my effective indicators. I have my PL on the day, PL on the open. Uh, I have all this information right on over here. I can overlap this if I find it to be too overwhelming. The really cool thing about Webull is you get to customize it to be the most suitable for you. So I have mine laid out this specific way. Just know that this is just an example of how to get it to this. At the end of the day, there are a lot of different widgets you can add and you can click on add widgets and learn more about them and see if you find them useful. But again, sometimes too much information becomes counterproductive, which is why I wanna encourage you to take that into consideration and having a platform and a layout that is both effective and efficient for your trading or investing style. So I hope that I did a good job walking you through on my layout for the Webull desktop app. And if you wanna download it again and earn two free stocks just by opening an account and funding it $100, that's gonna be that first link down below. I would love to have you guys join our team and if you're an absolute beginner and you like the way that I break things down, but you want more structure and you want the ability to be able to watch me trade live, click the second link down below. You guys can use coupon code Webull. It will earn you an additional $50 off the Learn Plan Profit course. And you can join us as soon as tomorrow for the live trading session at Market Open. Until then, I hope that I earn you a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see future walkthrough videos for the Webull application. And as well as comment down below what you would like to see next. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.